I'm General George Casey. Uh, I'm a senior lecturer of leadership here at uh, the Johnson School of Business at Cornell University. I'll give you just a short overview of my, of my course. You know, core leadership skills for a VUCA world. And everybody gets hung up on the acronym of VUCA. Volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. But I, what, what I convey to my students is, is that's the reality of the world that we live in. And they can't wish it away. And so it's the world that they need to prepare themselves to lead in. And probably the most significant message that I try to convey to them is, is that, you know, this environment can be overwhelming. But as a leader today, if you're going to be successful, you can't be cowed by the environment. And, and you, can, you can succeed in, in today's VUCA environment if you focus your intellectual and emotional energy in the areas that have the highest payoff for the organization. And that's the core of my course. What, what is the VUCA paradox? Well, actually, it's something that I borrowed from American leadership guru Jim Collins. And he wrote a book called Great by Choice, where he, looked, he and his team looked at 20,400 companies. And he looked for companies that outperformed their industry by 10 times over a decade or more. And he only found seven. And you don't think the other 20,393 CEOs are out there really working hard to succeed? But he only found seven, and all seven of them accepted what he called the control-non-control paradox. I call it the VUCA paradox. But the paradox is that they accepted the fact that their environment would be VUCA, but they didn't accept the fact that external factors would determine their results. They imposed their will on the environment and succeeded where others didn't.